I just wanted to ask, what is your favorite WWF segment of all time? Not what you think is the best one, not which one you think is the most important one, just your own personal favorite. What's your favorite WWF segment? Now, as far as WCW is concerned, one of my favorites has got to be when Bill Goldberg knocked himself on Bret Hart wearing the steel plate. But as far as WWF is concerned, remember when every week Rick Rude would pick a woman out of the crowd and they make out in the ring together? Or remember this one week where, as usual, he picks out a woman from the crowd, they're in the ring together, and he's like, Lay it on me, baby! And he closes his eyes, and he puckers up, and he sticks his butt out in the air, and all you see in the background is the warrior coming out at 500 miles per hour, diving in the ring, and smashing Rick Rude while he's still puckered up, and he's going like this, and the crowd is going crazy! That has got to be one of my favorite segments, most memorable segments of all time. And remember the SummerSlam after that? Where Rude is basically dominating the Ultimate Warrior. He's almost got the match won. He's pow driven the Warrior. The Warrior is gone. All right? And all of a sudden, he sees Roddy Piper ringside. And he walks up to Piper. And even though he's angry at first, suddenly he starts smiling. And he starts shaking his hips. And the commentators are like, he's giving it to him. And then Piper moons him. And he gets mad again and loses the icy belt. Oh, man, that was hilarious. That was such a funny sequence of such a memorable sequence. And the thing about it is, is that unlike today, the humor came naturally. It came naturally out of the character performances, right? That is something that Rick Rude would do. That is something that the Ultimate Warrior would do. That is something that Piper would do. And when you put them in the ring together, that is something that would happen, right? Unlike today, where it's just a bunch of generic guys grabbing the mic and forcing out unfunny jokes to try to be funny than that anybody could say. You know, and also unlike today, even though this is one of the all-time feuds, you know, one of the memorable WWF feuds, Warrior and Rick Rude actually fought one-on-one -on -one only three times on pay-per-view. Three times. Think about how many times we got Orton versus Triple H, all right? Perfect versus Bret Hart, one of the two legend classic feuds of all time. Two times on pay-per-view. Two freaking times, all right? We got Cena versus Big Show two times in the last two months, and they've been fighting for years, all right? It, it's a joke, you know? I've said it before, and I'll say it again. It's a joke. You know, you wonder how Orton versus Triple H can actually try to headline a WrestleMania when they fought in a million times before. Meanwhile, we've only gotten Austin versus Bret two times on pay-per-view, and that was enough. You know, it makes me wonder how these people can order WWE pay-per-views every single month for all these forgettable rematches when freaking Shawn Michaels versus Bret Hart only happened three times. And the thing is, that was enough. We didn't even need any more. You know, it's a joke. Now, these are just going to be opinions, so do not take anything as fact, all right? You know, I used to talk about how wrestling used to be so big, and in my opinion, there are all these people that used to watch wrestling that do not watch wrestling anymore. Well, there are also people out there that never liked wrestling, right? P regardless of promotion, regardless of era, they never liked wrestling. They do not respect wrestling. They look down on wrestling, right? I had a neighbor like this. You know, he used to always be like, why are you guys watching that crap? He called it culturally insensitive, sexist make-believe, played for idiots, right? Now let's take that opinion apart for a second, all right? Let's take that statement apart, all right? When you watch professional wrestling, and I'm not talking about any particular promotion, just in general, when you watch professional wrestling and you're looking at the screen, is there anything that you see that you consider to be, you know, maybe a little insensitive, maybe possibly a little stereotypical in your opinion? When you watch the screen, is there anything you see with regards to the male and female wrestlers that may be possibly, you know, a little degrading in your opinion, all right? And in your opinion, is the make-believe aspect of professional wrestling, does that damage its credibility as a sport for you and prevent you from taking it fully seriously? And if you answered the yes to some or all of these questions, how do you justify watching it without being an idiot, all right? Hmm, why? You know, just, just because it's neat, just because there's a lot of colors? Hmm. But for now, let's take out three of those four elements, and let's talk about 
women in wrestling. All right, because ever since I started this channel, I've been getting a steady stream of comments and messages asking me to talk about it. You know, all these young women messaging me, asking me, saying, please talk about the portrayal of women in wrestling. All right, but the problem at the time was that that wasn't the direction this channel was headed. You know, I was busy talking about what happened to wrestling in general. You know, what, what happened to the storylines, the writing, the characters, the excitement, the thrills? What happened to wrestling in general? Right? But I did not ignore these people. I read their messages. I responded to some of them. And here we are. Now, whether it's true or not, I think it's been said multiple times by some fans in this online wrestling fan community, the opinion that many of the women we see today at some point have taken their clothes off or revealed themselves to some degree on the road to where they are today right whether it's partial nudity or covered up but in a relatively revealing outfit the opinion is that many of these women revealed themselves to some degree on the road to where they are today now as a fan, as just another fan, I have no idea how true this is. But if it is, isn't it embarrassing? You know, I mean, what other sport can you say anything like that about? You know, women's basketball, softball, swimming, track, golf. You know, what other sport can you possibly say anything like that about? I grew up a wrestling fan. I'm still a wrestling fan. But when I watch wrestling, sometimes it does feel like I just got stuck in a time warp, right? Sometimes when I watch, it feels like my eyes and my ears just took a few steps backwards, all right? And on top of that, it could be argued, in my opinion, that some of the female performers from back in the day were portrayed with more class than some of the females today, such that, in my opinion, the argument could be made that in some ways, not only has women in wrestling failed to progress, it's actually regressed. The bottom line is this, all right? In my opinion, professional wrestling is not inherently progressive, innovative, or proactive, all right? They are not looking to revolutionize anything, all right? There is no electric car in professional wrestling. They are give you, gonna give you the minimum amount that it takes to keep you satisfied. If you accept mediocrity, you're going to get mediocrity. If you accept Stone Age thinking, you're going to get a Stone Age product. All right? In my opinion, the only time professional wrestling has ever moved a little bit forward is when they were forced to do it, whether by competition, the people, or whatever. By the way, don't get me wrong. I have nothing wrong with sexiness. I have nothing wrong with a woman looking sexy, so long as it makes sense for the character. If a promotion is developing a female character and based on her personality profile and her storyline, it makes sense that she dresses sexy, then I'm all for it. That's completely different, in my opinion, than like a movie or something just throwing tits and ass in our face, seemingly just for the sake of it. All right? A woman can look good and be respected as an athlete. Maybe some of these female MMA fighters can teach us a thing or two about that. Then maybe we as fans can start to expect more from our wrestling promotions in that regard. Real slow. Get a grip on yourself. And lay it on me, baby, right now. Oh, look at that. Look at the coming. This is a setup. The Warrior laying it on, ravaging Rick Rude. Off the rope. Do you think that wrench had something to do with that? I don't 